Imagine a 16-speed gearbox for bicycles, which is almost completely flat, electronically controlled, made with space-age technology, and which also jumps lightning fast between any gears. From 2nd to 7th, or from 5th to 14th, or whatever you like. Well, it's here now. Bike Bum's 16-speed, radial cascade gearbox. But let's take it from the beginning. Beneath the carbon fiber shell, hides a rather ingenious system of four circuits of gears, controlled by electromagnets. These determine which of the four circuits should be connected or disconnected. The four gears circuits are held together by the green drive rings in the picture. When the cyclist shifts, an order is sent to the system, which then only waits for the sensor's green light, before the actual change takes place, only a fraction of a second later. This regardless of which gear is selected. The locking pins of the electromagnets, lock, or release the carriers. Which, as we shall soon see, affects the gear ratio in a rather intricate way. The locking pins retain their position, even when the current is switched off, after about one second, by means of diaphragm springs. This means extremely low energy consumption, and eliminates the realm of overheating of the electromagnets. Underneath the layer of electromagnets and carriers, we find the mechanics of all the gear rings and cogwheels. The function is basically an advanced planetary gear, in four radial orbits. That is why we call it a radial cascade gear. All wheels are situated on the same plane and the gearbox is therefore very flat. Here is shown what happens when the electromagnets hold back, respectively release, the pairs of smaller bridge wheels. Either there is a gearing between the larger ring and the smaller one, on each side of the bridge wheels. Alternatively, the rings are interlocked when the bridge wheels are released. This variation in all four orbits results in a total combination of 16 possible gears. From 1 to 1, all the way up to 1 to 4.15. The key to the process is therefore these small bridge wheels, precision made, with distance shims made of PTFE, and two inner ball bearings each. Below all the cogwheels, comes the second layer of carriers. Then the inner chainwheel rotation distributor, which is connected directly to the outer one. The bike's overall general gear ratio, whether it should be low geared for mountain biking, or high geared for road racing, is determined by the size of this replaceable chainring on the back of the gearbox. 
We believe that this type of gearboxes is the future of modern biking. Whether you are riding a muscle-driven one, or an e-bike, you will enjoy all the benefits of a light and fast gear shifting device.